So you think to yourself, little BMW, or I should say littlest BMW, that should mean littlest BMW lease payment, right? Not certainly the case. This BMW X1 has no incentives available on it. Discount margins are not as fat as you might think. If you were hoping to get a BMW X1 in the 300s, you better wait until the end of the year. What I wanna do for you in this video is break down exactly what a BMW X1 could potentially cost you, what the X1 will cost you in terms of a lease payment, some average repair and maintenance costs, as well as the average insurance premium. That way you get the sense for exactly how expensive this X1 is really gonna be. What is happening guys, Ari here from Boston Automotive Consulting. And in the description below, you're gonna find links to be able to shop around for the very best BMW X1 deal. Simply plug in your zip, check off your dealers, and have the dealers compete for your business. You'll also be able to shop around for insurance rates, get your auto credit scores, as well as shop for an auto loan. If you're new here, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is gonna teach you everything you're gonna to need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. So there's not a whole crazy lot of BMW X1s available at the moment. What we're seeing is, is roughly around 2,700 altogether in the US. The split between front wheel drive and all wheel drive is 960 front wheel drive and 1,710 all wheel drive. The one that I picked out from my local dealership's inventory is an X1 X Drive 28i. It's the all wheel drive version. Mine has an MSRP of 43,395. Now my suggestion is for you to target 6% off of the MSRP. Going after the 6% would land you at a target selling price of 40,790. At the moment, BMW is not offering their typical rebate of about like 2,000, sometimes $3,000 on the X1 to entice you to wanna buy it. No rebates available. However, there is a promotional APR of 0.9% up to 60 months. Now, assuming you just tried to get 6% or better, obviously, off the MSRP and financed it, at 60 months, your financed amount would obviously be 40,790 or better, and that would land you at a payment of $695 per month plus tax. As far as some other incentives that are available, if you're a current BMW customer, you could qualify for an additional 500 bucks. If you're a recent college grad, you could also qualify for a $1,000 rebate. If you're part of the military or part of the USAA, and you're planning on paying in cash or outside financing, you could get $2,000, or if you're planning on taking the 0.9% interest rate or leasing, you can get $500. Now, if you're planning on leasing, still going after 6%, however, we do have a rebate, or BMW likes to call it lease credits, of $500 available on the X1. We're dealing with a residual of 57%, for 36 months at 10,000 miles a year and a money factor still pretty low, um, just relatively to what BMW always offers of 0.00093. Now plugging this all in into the lease calculator and assuming that we're giving just our inception fees, do it start, so your first payment, acquisition fee, dock fee, registration, all that stuff, do up front, roughly about 2,075 bucks, we'd be talking about 492 bucks a month. That's not even including sales tax, you guys, and that's assuming 6% off of the MSRP. Typically, if you're able to get lease credits, the loyalty incentive is higher. I've seen the X1 go into the 300s, and right now is just not a good time at all to be trying to get a Scorch and Hot deal on an X1 because of the incentives that aren't available from BMW. Now, as far as some average maintenance and repair costs, you do not wanna be in this thing after the warranty and maintenance period runs up. What we're talking about is, is an average yearly maintenance cost of $795 per year after the warranty period runs up and $1,405 for repairs annually 
after the warranty period runs up. Similarly for insurance, it's not even that cheap either. We're talking about 1225 in Arizona, 1705 California, 1880 Florida, 1095 Illinois, 1185 Massachusetts, 2630 in Michigan, 1585 New York, 835 North Carolina, 1420 Pennsylvania, 1805 Texas, 875 in Virginia. Again, you guys, I want to encourage you to shop around the deal as aggressively as you possibly can. Use the links in the description below. Plug in your zip, check off your dealers, and have these dealers compete for your business. You'll also be able to shop around for insurance rates, get your auto credit scores, as well as shop for an auto loan. And if you found this information useful, please consider subscribing. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.